know there are a few rules for styling your coffee table and your mantle? Mm, Nora Murphy of Nora Murphy Country House shows us how to get that magazine look at home. We start with a blank canvas at Nora Murphy's beautiful country home in Newtown. You like the coffee table to have a more layered look if this is more minimal. Yes, I like to work the two together. And everything should really uh, complement each other in the room. Okay. So I have this wonderful old light blue ore that, you know, again, if you just hung this simply like this, you're done. That's it. And no then, pictures, no tchotchkes, just that. Just that. And okay. then now, now you can get a little bit more layered and a little bit more complex here. Nora likes to use some of her favorite summertime books for the season. She anchors her look with two large hurricanes filled with white candles. Don't be afraid to move things around. And things shouldn't line up. Let it flow. Okay. Um, and again, more collected things. These are rocks from the beach, a little bit of blue and white. Thrown in here, a little John Darien plate. This is from Cape Cod. Be happy. So we can have the mixture of things that we love, but they yes. don't have to look like tchotchkes. I see there's a method to your madness, so you always talk about odd and even. Yes. So you did an odd number here. Of, of the glass. Of the glass. And yeah. you should have an odd, not an even number. Uh, yes, unless you're doing something very symmetrical. And because this is so simple, I wanted this to be asymmetrical and more of a collection. We even have this wonderful, simple, vintage enamelware tray where you would have your remotes. As for the stacks of books, here's Nora's rule. Group books according to the color of their covers and stack by size. Start with a larger foundation and then go up. And again, here I was going for more a summer look, so I brought my blues in a little bit of orange or red thrown in there. Of course, I have my book in there. i got to have that on yeah. all the time. But also things that have certain uh, meaning, like the John Darien book to me is, you know, our time on Cape Cod because he has a shop in Provincetown. Everything here should bring a smile to your face. If an oar isn't your thing, how about a whale to make you smile? This one is made from reclaimed wood from Martha's Vineyard by an artist in Old Saybrook, and it's available for sale on Nora's website. I would definitely hang it like that. Okay. It's simple and graphic. I love this guy. Just one bold piece on the mantle. Yes. And yes. that's it. And that's it. Resist the urge to put more yeah, little things no up more there. more stuff. Put your <laughs> stuff here. Okay. <laughs> In the next look, the coffee table and the mantle become equal. This is all about symmetry, she says. Well, I had this beautiful set of antique prints. And, you know, I want to say too, Carrie, you don't have to hang all your artwork. I love leaning artwork because it has a wonderful casual vibe. Yeah. As well as it's really easy to switch it it's out. So much easier, especially if you yes. have plaster walls. <laughs> Absolutely. With this old house, I don't want it to look perfect. So I just put a star, not centered, off center, and it just kind of gives it a little interesting energy. Down here, again, more collections. I love how this is all white. But these are all different types of coral. Yes, it's old, old coral I've been collecting for a really long time. They're all different kind of hues of whites and creams. I love it in this old painted uh, caddy. And isn't this an awesome idea to decorate with old photos and mementos? So you have these really treasured old photos. That was me. In, oh, that's so cute. Your babushka. No, my babushka. <laughs> and you've got uh, just mixed in with shells and other things in a glass jar. Yes, you know, a little childhood. Like this was Connor's little, you know, Montessori little project when he was oh. in kindergarten. And wonderful old nautical postcards. It's like a memory stars. jar. She also placed a giant starfish and this. I love this old compass I bought in Nantucket. Again, it's just a wonderful graphic piece for this kind of nautical look. And one of her favorite tricks to bring in summer to the old winter room, a fern in the fireplace. We're doing all this styling, but then you're looking into a big black fireplace. So for spring into summer, I love bringing in one of my ferns. Now this started years ago from the grocery store, one of that size and throughout the years he just gets bigger and bigger yeah in the final look nora goes for more on the mantle and less on the table now we're layered here and we're simple here okay and this is very personal for me too because every summer we would go to cape cod or nantucket so all these things are from there 
I want to show everybody, it doesn't, you don't have to have things framed. It's this wonderful old oil painting with fish on it. And just lean things. And I always start with the large in the center. Okay. And then I work off of the two sides. And you've really filled the space here. But then when we look down here, you've kept it more simple. Yes. I think I love the idea of just a big catch-all gathering basket. But don't put junk in there. It has to be thought about. Well, put, put your books in. I love this. That's one of my favorite jars. And um, everything that you see in here has been uh, beachcombed by our family. It's called Summer Linen. It's a natural soy candle made right here in Connecticut. Yes, it, smells it is like made summer. in Connecticut. It smells like summer. It's kind of like a beach party. I love that it's white, too, because white is just classic. It can go anywhere in yeah. any interior. People will come to your home and think, oh, you've redecorated when all you've done is restyled. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Nora. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Yeah, she says you can't forget about the fragrance. So mm -hmm. if it smells good with her candle, then you'll smell like summer. For more home decor inspiration and to check out her new home product line, you can visit NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com. You can also find her book, Nora Murphy's Country House Style, Making Your Home a Country House, with lots of decorating tips right on Amazon. All right.